Hi. Vlog 8th of August, 2020, Saturday, 8.39 p.m. Um, so today, yesterday was a rest day. I was completely wasted after my ride day before yesterday. I just crashed. And then last night, I had insomnia all night long. I didn't sleep because I don't sleep at night. I haven't slept at night for years. So I was just, and I wasn't, and my brain is too dead to do audiobooks and stuff, so... I just uh, listened to music and kind of laid there and listened to music, you know, on my new Apple Music, which I just started using recently. And, uh, you know, I wasn't bored or anything. I wasn't stoned. I think yesterday I ran out of weed, but then I bought weed again today. <laughs> With my roommate. He gave me money and we got and bought weed because I felt flat. No endorphins, no motivation. I had no desire to... Uh, to go like exercising, but I knew if I smoked weed, I would. And so I went and got weed and smoked some with my roommate and then boom, all of a sudden I was fired up. <laughs> so today what I did was I slept, yeah, I slept until all day today, dude. I slept until like 3.30 in the afternoon from five in the, six in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, and I was dreaming too and I remembered my dreams. Um, but I don't anymore, but yeah, I remember I was dreaming. I only have to quit smoking weed for one day before I start remembering my dreams. And then I get motivated to do YouTube videos too. So that's, I'm definitely excited for when I stop smoking weed, but I definitely need it for this. And I'm glad, you know, I smoked weed for my very first run and I'm going to be high for my very first weightlifting and stretching session tomorrow in my room tomorrow. So, or tonight, tonight in my room. So, uh, but I do feel like I got a little bit of exercise. So got up really late and I went over to my mom's house because... <clears throat> I called her to see if she wanted to go on a ride, but she had watermelon. She didn't want to, but she had watermelon. So I went there and picked that up, and she gave me some uh, tuna salad that I had over there, and we watched the news, and then I came back, and uh, she gave me a bunch of bread and watermelon. I think I'm going to have that after this, after I do this video. Um, so then I came home and hung out with my roommate a little bit and got the weed, and then um, I got a bunch of things that I ordered in the mail, the thing that I can hook up my camera my GoPro Pro camera and their light for when I go running at night came in the mail. And then um, my GoPro waterproof case came in the mail. So that's awesome. And my jacket, my bike jacket came in the mail because I lost my bike jacket last time when Kirsten was here. I don't know what the hell happened to it. And I think that's all I, oh yeah. And then my protein powder came in the mail and, and then my little GoPro attachments to help um, hook everything up. Come in the mail, I'll figure that out later. Um, so I'm still waiting on my uh, new my Garmin light. I got another Garmin light so I can have lights all night. I have the good Garmin light all night long because the lights don't last all night long. Just, just for when I, I like being ready for w one night, you know, when I'm super fit and I'm like, fuck it, let's do an all night ride tonight. And it's not a full moon and I need a, night, a light for 12 hours. I'm ready for it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so I'm um, still waiting on that. That comes August 23rd, 22nd to the 23rd. And then uh, I ordered, also ordered a, a chain, which is going to come on Monday. And that's when I can get back on the road on my road bike. I don't want to go on a ride on my road bike until I get the chain. And I don't want to go on a ride with my triathlon bike until my arm heals. I did serious damage to my arm. The other day when I did that triathlon, that Ironman on my arm, I forgot to wrap my arm up and it was bouncing the whole time. It hurts so much. So I can't do that until this heals more, like another week or something. I brought back my time like a week. It sucks. But, um, and I can't run because I got on my electric bike and rode it up to Flags, to, Fla um, to uh, Chautauqua to go on my very first run. <laughs> I forgot my lock for my extra lock to lock the front wheel, but I just kind of wrapped the lock around to make it look like it was locked because then I have also the other good ceramic lock for my uh, Copenhagen wheel on the bike and um, have this little vest that I figured out how to use in all the pockets, running vest. And I started running towards, I was going to go towards in car and uh, I went past where the intersection is to go down to the Enchanted Mesa and then up to the second flat iron and I was going across, you know, and all of a sudden, <laughs> tore a muscle on my left calf. 
an inner muscle on my left calf and it tore to the point where there's no way in hell I was going to be running anymore after that. So I turned around and walked all the way home and I only made it like a mile. I'm going to look on my Strava because I Strava'd it. But um, yeah, I only made it like a mile. So I went like two miles. So going to have to take at least two to three days off from my calf where I can run again. So <laughs> can't road ride tomorrow because of my chain. Can't time trial bike tomorrow because of my um, my arm. I could mountain bike tomorrow. That would be fun because I do have a mountain bike and I did buy the bar ends. So when I get up tomorrow, I'll think about doing that. Although, because if my calf is good enough, it might be good enough to ride. It wasn't good enough to really ride hard on the way home. but um, And I can't swim because of my arm, but I could, uh, I could possibly mountain bike and I can stretch and lift weights tomorrow. But I can't squat because of my, um, my sunburn on my back. So... Um, I just don't think I can squat. Maybe I could squat. Maybe I can. We'll see. But, um, so, uh, and then I think I'm going to do stretching and weightlifting here tonight. I haven't done stretching and weightlifting, like a full big set of it since I started. And, uh, again, you know, um, my official start date for doing this, it was like a week before Kirsten came. It was like a month ago. I'm I'm slow slowly picking it up because I'm uh, so I got myself so out of shape. So you know I'm not even really that surprised that I pulled my muscle after one mile. Um, I mean I wasn't expecting it today. I thought I'd be able to run longer, but I'm not surprised that that happened at all. <laughs> and um, so um, yeah, looking forward because there's still stuff to do. That's why I love triathlon because there's always something to do. So, um, yeah, I'll still have to have dinner. I haven't been eating enough lately. So, um, still, uh, getting myself accustomed to Apple Music. I think I want to download more playlists today. I was walking back on my watch because this is the first time I was using my watch for Strava instead of my bike computer because this is the first time I went on a run. Oh, no, I use my watch for Strava on swimming. But, um, I want to, uh, figure out, um, uh, I, uh, um, podcast because I heard of the podcast app on my uh, Apple phone. So I'm going to go and subscribe to all the history podcasts I can find tonight. Yeah, maybe I will forego the stretching so I can do the podcast figuring, setting up so that I can get on this bitch and be like, do, 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 podcast, whenever I feel like doing podcasts. I can also get on here and I might be able, I, I want to, I'll see if I can get on my phone from here to access my audio books too. Um, but, uh, cause my, my phone, <laughs> My phone is in the back pocket of my uh, running j jacket, so I can't just pull my phone out while I'm running. Um, but I can pull out my water. I have two water bottles. I can pull out my uh, goo. Or there's a pocket for that. And then on my left, my right side, I can pull out my... Um, that's where I keep my keys, my headlamp, and... Um, keys and headlamp and then up here I have two pockets where I kept my earphones but I, re I really only need one earphones because I could put one here and then something else here and then uh and, yeah, and then the back the cell phone and then I have my little, <laughs> my little pocket on my running shorts which aren't good enough for this pocket here which aren't good at big enough for my cell phone but it's big enough for that little, my little mask so I just put a mask over my mouth and people walk by I think they appreciate that, and it's probably healthier too. And then I put the mask on permanently when I got to the bike bike path. But I don't wear the mask when I'm just riding down the road. That's ridiculous. <sighs> so, um, um, okay, that's almost 10 minutes. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow it's either mountain biking or stretching and lifting weights, but I will have energy tomorrow. And I might even do it tonight. And then hopefully a day after tomorrow, I can, uh, well, what day is it? Saturday. Yeah, day after tomorrow will be Monday. Maybe by the time I get up, my chain will be in. Put the chain on, then I can go on an actual road ride, try Everesting again. But I also, as soon as I can, I want to do the uh, Ironman course again, too. Maybe that'll be in a few more days, if I can wrap up my arm enough. All right, I'll talk to you later.